नमस्ते आई वेलकम यू ऑल हेड ये लेक्चर फॉर यू एंड द टॉपिक इज आवर इन्वॉर्मेंट हमारा पर्यावरण यू आर अ वेल एक्वेंटेड with the environment in environment you find there are living things sajeev hain and there are non living things right and all living organisms as well as the non living sare ke sare interact karte hain and they form a system called ecosystem right ecosystem has two components one is your biotic living components and another one is your non living called abiotic say there are trees humans animals ye living hain aur jab inke surrounding ki baat karenge to there is rainfall temperature is a biotic aur because of the interactions of the human activities our environment has been disturbed so called polluted almost beyond repair and that's why there is abnormal with the weather conditions जैसे वर्षा का समय नहीं हो वर्षा हो जाए बाढ़ हो जाए देर इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एक्सेस ऑफ मेल्टिंग ऑफ ग्लेशियर्स बर्फ का बहुत तेजी से फिघलना और इससे क्या होगा कि ऑशनिक वाटर लेवल का बढ़ जाना और आप जानते हैं कि देर इज अनवेरेबल टेम्परेचर काफी टेम्परेचर भी इन्वायरमेंट का ज्यादा रहता है डस्ट रहते हैं व्हीकल्स हैं ब्लैक कार्बन है हाउ एवर एवरी एफर्ट इज बीइंग टेकन to combat this ill input of environment waste management ki baat aati hai aap dekhte bhi hain ki subah subah kachra lene wala aapke darwaze pe pahunchta hai music ke sath aise sthiti mein hamara bhi daitya banta hai to make our environment eco friendly good habitat to live in and for this we must plant grow more and more trees or knowingly we should not harm our home that is the environment so that our life could be challenged so start with our environment she global summit you all know international meets are there 
involving the developed and developing countries are regularly held to discuss environmental issues. We shall be studying how various components in the environment interact with each other and how we impact the environment. Now come to know ecosystem, what are its components, right? All organisms, say plants, animals, microorganisms and human beings as well as the physical surroundings interact with each other and maintain a balance in nature. All the interacting organisms in an area together with the non-living components of the environment form an ecosystem, right? Share yeah, ecosystem, what are its components? Already we have discussed. An uh, ecosystem consists of biotic components consisting of living organisms and abiotic components consisting of five physical factors, say temperature, rainfall, wind, soil, and Minerals. Garden is an ecosystem. Very important point. Garden is an ecosystem. Ecosystems are forests, ponds, and lakes. These are natural ecosystems, while gardens and crop fields are human made. That is, the artificial ecosystems. Is that the point? Organic compounds like sugar, organic compounds like sugar and starch form inorganic substances using the radiant energy of the sun. In the presence of Chlorophyll. All green plants and certain bacteria which can produce food by photosynthesis come under this category and are called the producers. Right? So the producers say you all know the green plants, all green plants and certain green blue algae. These manufacture their food. And the process of manufacturing the food by the green plants is known as photosynthesis. And for this, water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the environment. Right? So, this is all about the photosynthesis, photosynthesis Prakash translation used to manufacture the food or is kya bolenge? green plants ko producers they are the consumers who consume and the consumers can be classified as herbivores, sure the consumers, we are talking to the consumers. Classified as herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and parasites, jo apna bojan dusre ke body se lete hain.
Next come to the food chains by and babes. Each step or level of the food chain forms a tropic level. The autotrophs are the producers of the first tropic level. They fix up the solar energy and make it available for heterotrophs or the consumers. The herbivores are the primary consumers come at the secondary. A small carnivores are the secondary consumers and the third and largest carnivores or the tertiary consumers form the fourth trophic level, isn't it? There are the points here. I then come to uh, more points. The flow of energy between the various components of the environment has been extensively studied and it has been found that the first point the green plants in a terrestrial ecosystem capture about 1% of the energy of sunlight that falls on the earth, lifts and convert it into food energy. Important point is that this year. Right? And see now this diagram. This is the food chain in nature, right? Now say A, this is the food chain in forest. A jungle ki baat ho rahi hai. These are the trees, green plants, or ishe kya hai? Hiran khata hai, or hiran ka fir se, right? To ye kya hai? Ye, this is the producer, and this is consumer and this is also consumer right now in this second second diagram in grassland dusre mein aap dekh le grassland mein grassland mein ya bhi ye hai aur ishe jaise insects wala kha lenge fir ye medak hai fir reptiles hai aur now aise a bird hai ye aap dekh le isme fir in a pond pond mein kya ye dekhe ye इसे आपके कीड़े मकोड़े फिर है फीस है और फिर आपका ये अब है आप चार्ट को देख लें शो डेट दी पॉइंट्स में भी क्लियर अबाउट दी आप फूड चेन इन नेचर नेचर में क्या पहला ए है फॉरेस्ट के लिए बी आपका ग्रास लैंड के लिए और सी आपका पॉन्ट्स में है सी Next, I uh, come to the more points. When green plants are eaten by primary consumers, a great deal of energy is lost as heat to the environment. Same amount goes into the digestion and in doing work and the rest goes towards growth and reproduction. This is the point here. An average of 10% of the food eaten is turned into its own body and made available for the next level. This is a very important point. Hence, 10% can be taken as the average value for the amount of organic matter that is present at each step and reaches the next level of consumers. Very important point. See here, tropic levels. First tropic level is your producers, right? Second one is your primary consumers. And third one is your secondary consumers. And fourth one is your tertiary consumer site since so little energy is available for the next level of consumers food just generally consists of only three or four steps next point the loss of energy at each step is so great that very little usable energy remains after four tropic levels. There are generally a greater number of 
individuals at the lower tropic levels of an ecosystem, the greatest number is of the producers, right? The length and complexity of food chains vary greatly. Each organism is generally eaten by two or more other kinds of organisms, which in turn are eaten by several other organisms. So, instead of a straight line food chain, the relationship can be shown as a series of branching lines called a food wave. See uh, this diagram. Uh, uh, this will make the points clear. See this eaten by this eaten by this one, this eaten by this one, and this way. Lion, sage. Kya hai? Animal koi khayega na? Ab dekh lein se. And next, the energy that is captured by the auto traps does not revert back to the solar input and the energy which passes to the heavy boats does not come back to auto traps, right? As it moves progressively through the various topic levels, it is no longer available to the previous level. Secondly, the energy available at each tropic level gets diminished progressively due to loss of energy at each level. This is the point. Another interesting aspect of food chain is how unknowingly here some harmful chemicals enter our bodies through the food chain. So, what is the uh, crops in plants? We use chemical fertilizers and what is it? This damage karega. Or this reaches through the food cycles into our bodies, or our bodies ke mental and physical health dono ke affect karta. How water gets polluted? Jab hum jal ke pollution ki baat aayegi, the water pollution may be dekhenge. One of the reason is the use of several pesticides and other chemicals to protect our crops from diseases and pests. These chemicals are either washed down into the soil or into the water bodies. From the soil, these are absorbed by the plants along with water and minerals. And from the water bodies, this is taken up by aquatic plants and animals. And they say the effects. This is one of the ways in which they enter the food chain. Another point, as these chemicals are not degradable, these get accumulated progressively at each tropic level. As human, human beings occupy the top level in any food chain, the maximum concentration of these chemicals get accumulated in our bodies. This phenomenon is known as biological magnification, a very important point here. Meaning of biological magnification. This is the reason why our food gains such a wheat, rice, vegetables, and fruits, and even meat contain varying amounts of pesticides, residues. They cannot always be removed by washing or other means. Next. 
Now, see the diagram here. This diagram shows flow of energy in an ecosystem. Energy can say flow the. She our source is the sunlight. Okay, जो भी हमारे green plants होते हैं, वह सूर्य के प्रकाश की उपस्थिति में ही photosynthesis से भोजन बनाते हैं. So the source energy is sunlight, or sunlight taken by the producers. और फिर क्या है हार्वीवर्स में चला जाता है और देन नाउ दिस कार्निवोस एंड नाउ टॉप कार्निवोस सो सी द डायग्राम दिस विल स्पीक द स्टोरी वेरी क्लियर राइट ओजोन ले हाउ इट इज गेटिंग एडेपलेटेड ओजोन इज ए मालिकुल फाउंड बाय थ्री एटम्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन वाइल ओ टू व्हिच वी नॉर्मली रेफर टू ऑक्सीजन इज एसेंशियल फॉर ऑल एरोबिक फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ ओजोन इज ए डेडली पॉइजन हाउ वेट एट दायर लेवल्स ऑफ द एटमोस्फियर ओजोन परफॉर्म्स एन एसेंशियल फंक्शन इट सिल्स द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ फ्रॉम अल्ट्रा वर्ट रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द सन राइट यू ऑल नो द ऑक्सीजन ओ टू एंड इट इज एसेंशियल फॉर द लाइफ जीवन के लिए जरूरी है क्योंकि हम सांस लेते हैं इसका यूज करते हैं और ऑक्शन हमें बर्निंग में भी प्रोसेस बर्निंग प्रोसेस कम्बसन के लिए भी जरूरी है ऑक्सीजन विदाउट ऑक्सीजन लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल राइट ओ टू अब क्या ओ थ्री ओजोन ये ओजोन क्या है इट इज अवेलेबल इन द स्टेटोस्फेयर वहां पे क्या है ये कि ऑक्सीजन ओ टू जो होता है वो टूट जाता है फ्यू ऑफ दी मॉलकुल्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ब्रेक्स ओ प्लस ओ और फिर ओ टू से मेरे को ओ थ्री बना देता है ओ टू इज वेरी एसेंशियल फॉर आवर लाइफ बट ओ थ्री इज ए पॉइजन ओजोन पॉइजन है ये लेकिन इट ऑल्सो प्लेस ओजोन ऑल्सो प्लेस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन इन प्रोटेक्टिंग आवर लाइफ ये क्या है ओ थ्री ओजोन को हमारे पास अल्ट्रावायरेट रेडिएशन को हमारे पास आने से रोकता है अल्ट्रावायरेट रेडिएशन को हमारे पास आने से रोकता है एंड दैट्स वाई फॉर अल्ट्रावायरेट अल्ट्रावायरेट रेडिएशन नॉट टू रीच आवर रिच ऑन द अर्थ दिस से ओजोन प्लेस एज एन एम्ब्रेला और रोकता है और हमारे पास नहीं आने देता है एंड यू ऑल नो अल्ट्रावायरेट रेडिएशन इज वेरी इनर्जेटिक एंड इफ इट इज एक्सपोज टू आवर ह्यूमन बॉडीज हमें एक्सपोज होगा तो दिस में काउस अदरवाइज हेल्थ डैमेज और इवन द स्किन बर्निंग एंड स्किन कैंसर राइट मैनेजिंग द गार्बेज वी प्रोड्यूस वी जनरेट ए लॉट ऑफ मेटेरियल्स डेट आर थ्रोन अवे फॉट आर शम ऑफ दिस बेस्ट मेटेरियल्स What happens after we throw them back, them away? Let us perform an activity to find answer to these questions. Actually, these are the questions uh, for you. Okay. Now, oh, one second important facts. Share a various component of an ecosystem. You all know, and. Both biotic and abiotic components are in interdependent. Mind it. This point. The producers may make the energy from sunlight available to the rest of the ecosystem. Second point. There is a loss of energy as we go from one topic level to the next. This limits the number of topic levels in a food chain. Human activities have an impact on the environment. I told you. the use of chemicals like chlorofluorocarbon cfc has endangered the ozone layer since the ozone layer protects against the ultraviolet radiation from the sun uh, this could damage the environment the waste we generate may be bio biodegradable or non biodegradable biodegradable ka matlab hua ki jo ki biological process se broken down and waste substance those substances 
that can be broken down by the biological processes are called biodegradable and nahi hota hai usko non biodegradable bolte hain the disposal of the waste we generate is causing serious environmental problems so that's all for the day thank you